a lady is suing Chris Brown for supposedly medicating and assaulting her while at a party in Miami in December 2020, as indicated by a claim acquired. Hi and welcome to Fresh Trends, in the event that you new here mercifully subscribe in and share this video much thanks. The go off the deep end artists reps and lawyer have not reacted to demands for input, yet Chris Brown, of age 32, seems to have tended to the claims himself via online media. Posting on his Instagram story after reports of the claim were distributed on the web, Brown expressed, at whatever point I'm delivering music or undertakings, they attempt to pull a few genuine b he likewise added a cap emoticon, shoptic for lies. The supposed casualties lawyer George Vrabeck told Page Six Friday for the benefit of himself and his accomplice for the situation, we have no clue about who they are. Ariel Mitchell and I are lawyers addressing a young lady that was raped. Come on, we're not the Illuminati. We plan to hold all parties responsible, so we may start to destroy this conduct from our general public. Mitchell added of Brown's reaction to her customers' cases, this is what all victimizers say. We anticipate our day in court. In the claim, recorded Thursday in Los Angeles, the supposed casualty is distinguished as Jane Doe, an expert performer and choreographer, who is hesitant to uncover her personality since she presently fears for her life and vocation. The California-based lady claims in the grievance that she was an extended getaway in Miami when a companion of hers welcomed her to a party at Sean Diddy Combs' home on Star Island. It was there that she met Brown. In any case, counter to the documenting, we're told the supposed episode occurred on a yacht that was docked external Diddy's home and not possessed by the investor. Diddy doesn't possess a boat, didn't lease a boat, and didn't host a get-together on a boat, so the boat doesn't, has anything to do with him," a source explained. The water isn't his property. The insider added, generally, he doesn't has anything to do with this claim. Reps for Diddy didn't react to Page Six's solicitation for additional remark. Jane Doe asserts that once inside the yacht, the checkout mean our rapper gave her beverages that drove her to feel an abrupt, unexplained change in awareness. She supposedly felt bewildered, actually temperamental, and began to fall all through rest, so, all things considered she guarantees Brown brought her into a room, eliminated her two-piece base and started to engage in sexual relations with her. She murmured for him to stop, however Brown supposedly overlooked her requests, per the claim. At the point when the pair talked the following day, Jane Doe asserts the artist gave her an expression of remorse of sorts, clarifying that he was extremely blurred and didn't recall whether he had discharged into her. He additionally requested that she take a Plan B conception prevention pill to end any conceivable pregnancy, as indicated by the claim. The lady claims she looked for clinical consideration and STD testing. Then, at that point, on January 16, Brown supposedly welcomed her to his home in California, and she consented to visit while he chipped away at his music there. Be that as it may, after a recording meeting, the supposed casualty claims Brown welcomed her again into his room. At the point when she opposed, he purportedly turned out to be clearly and perturbed and considered her a prostitute, per the claim. Chris Brown fumed that she could never make it as a craftsman except if she was ready to take the necessary steps, suggesting to her that sex with him was a condition to being an effective craftsman, the claim asserts. Jane Doe claims she has encountered sensational emotional episodes, loss of hunger, fits of anxiety and occupied with self-hurt because of the supposed injury. Brabeck told us his customer is not ready to say something right now, yet there is a considerable amount more to come for this situation. Our customer merits equity, he added. The very equity that all survivors of sexual maltreatment merit. Mitchell closed, we are supporting for all casualties, and anybody with any data should reach us at our Brown has had a not insignificant rundown of legitimate issues throughout the long term. In June 2021, he was being scrutinized for purportedly striking a lady, and in 2009, he was notoriously captured for physically attacking them sweetheart for Hannah. For the last occurrence, Brown conceded to crime attack and finished probation in 2015, notwithstanding local area administration and aggressive behavior at home directly. A debt of gratitude is in order for observing. Thanks for watching.